Christy was born and Kelly and I started thinking about this day, we would pray that God would send someone into Christy's life that would love her unconditionally, someone that would respect her, and someone who would care about what her hopes, dreams, and desires were. We knew that whoever God picked, he would be a special young man as Christy is a lady. And God picked Adam. What happens is this, folks. When you're God's children and you're doing God's will, then God will bless it. And that's exactly what happened today. There were some friends of ours who, uh, who played a, a big role in that. I think they kind of channeled us both uh, in e each other's direction. This girl right here, um, she asked, her husband asked me to sing at their youth revival. Well, Adam is the sound guy there, but Adam wasn't supposed to meet me for the rehearsal. Her husband Stacy was supposed to meet me for the rehearsal, except Stacy conveniently had something come up. So Adam met me for the rehearsal. Afterwards, he was um, working and taking up mics and chords, and he said, hey, you know, what can I do to get your number? I said, you can ask Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> and Lauren takes me later that night and said, is it okay if I give him your number? And I said, yes, it's okay. <laughs> I made him work for it. <laughs> I can't believe September the 9th is finally here. I get to be your wife. I've dreamed about and prayed about this day and my future husband since I was a little girl. In all my dreams, I could never have imagined getting to spend my life with someone as wonderful as you. I can honestly say I've never been in love with any man but you. Sorry. You are the man that God designed especially for me. You are my best friend. And in good times and bad, I want to go through life with you by my side. From the very first time we went out, I knew there was something special about you. And although I may have held it in for a while, it didn't take me long to realize that I was falling in love with you. I wouldn't take anything for our courtship and the adventures we've already shared, and now it's our wedding day. I can't express how much joy is in my heart. I love you so much, and I pray that God gives me the strength and wisdom to be everything you dreamed of and deserve. I can't wait to see how he uses us and to spend the rest of my life with you. With love, Adam. <laughs> Good Lord, Jeff. age of 16 I guess um, I made the decision just that this was something that I wanted to say for my future husband and um, wore a ring on my middle finger um, specifically on my middle finger on my left hand so that nothing would be on the ring finger on that hand until it was replaced with an engagement ring or a wedding ring and so I'm super excited because um, it was just so worth the wait um, it was a long road and all of you all know that but he is worth every minute of the waiting I feel unworthy to receive such a blessing. Someone as wonderful and great as Christy who has been so dedicated to, to save herself. I can't, uh, I don't have words to describe how that makes me feel, but I know that it's just God's hand at work in our lives. And I just pray that I can be the husband that she deserves. We're so happy. I'm proud of you. You're all subscribed. Tears speak for themselves. <laughs>
once in every life. Someone comes along. Adam Christie came to you. It's almost like a song. Once in every life, someone comes along. And Christy, Adam came to you. And it's almost like a song. Adam, today is the day I have been waiting for. The day that you become my husband and I your wife. It's a day I have prayed for long before I knew exactly who my soulmate would be. I prayed for a man who loved the Lord because I knew if he loved the Lord first, then I could be confident that he would love me exactly the way God intended for me to be loved. Adam, today I can say with complete certainty, you are that person. You are the one I have waited for. You are the answer to many years of prayers. You, Adam, are my greatest blessing and I promise to cherish you all the days of my life. Well, let me just start by <clears throat> simply saying thank you. Thank you for just being you. I can't tell you in words what a blessing you are to me. I promise to laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. I promise to cherish you and never take you for granted. I promise to lead our home by the conviction of the Spirit of our Heavenly Father. And I promise to stand by your side and live out these promises made here today until we're parted by death. In the presence of God and these witnesses, and in accordance with the laws of the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> You came and broke the 
Scripture says God has a book. And He writes our days in. Even before we're born. How He must have smiled writing today.